Kashyap. I am the National Party spokesperson, and uh, I was also the returning officer for today's election for the president of National People's Party, as well as other organizational positions. Now we throw open the session for questions. You may ask questions. Dr. Kamuki or myself will answer to the best of our ability. You are able to hear me? Is it okay? Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Yeah, okay, fine. Thanks. So can you tell us some major decisions today? Uh, the, there were two categories of decisions. In fact, one was based on activities which need to be under our constitution considered by the annual general body meeting. And six major decisions were passed which were mostly procedural. Some had to do with the amendment to the constitution of some clarifications and procedural matters. The previous year's accounts were passed. Members who have recently been elected as delegates were approved. Members who the general body has the power to co-opt, their list was also approved. This was broadly what was done in the administrative and procedural part of the meeting today, presided upon by the President, Honorable Shri Konrad Sangma. The second half of the meeting was regarding the organizational elections, which were presided upon by myself as the returning officer. There were three positions for which elections are held as per our constitution, that is called to, together as organizational elections for the position of the national treasurer, for the position of the national general secretary organization and for the position of national president. We did not receive any nomination for the position of national treasurer. We received nomination, valid nomination for the position of national general secretary organization and the national president. There were only one name for each of the positions respectively for which we received valid nominations. By 16th of January, the candidates had the option to withdraw their candidature. They did not do so and so today we were faced <coughs> with one candidate on each of the two positions that is of the President and the National General Secretary. <coughs> and it was my pleasant duty to declare them elected unopposed. The position of the treasurer was declared as being vacant per force and the situation now is that for the year 22 to year 25, we have conducted elections as required by our constitution <coughs> and Mr. Conrad Sangma continues to be the president and Mr. Thomas Sangma continues to be National General Secretary of the organization. I think that sums up what was done today.